Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you to the people who bought training and thank you to the people who are about to buy training. And shout out to the Nerd Tribe. <sighs> right now, there are a bunch of YouTubers, Tucker Carlson, saying that we have a diesel shortage and we're literally going to run out of diesel and the world is going to stop. Okay. Anyone that has a YouTube channel, anyone that is on public television that's telling you that we have a diesel shortage and the world is going to stop in 25 days is lying to you. All right, let me explain something. The United States economy is huge. Largest economy in the world, next to China. And with an economy that is so huge, it takes time for things to happen. Now, I am 56 years old, and I remember the oil embargo. If you don't know what that is, Google it. The oil embargo of the 1970s. And this is when oil was cut off to the United States. And what we had was a state of gas rationing where, you know, you I think it went by either your your license plate or your birthday. I don't remember, but there were even in odd days that people could um, get gas. This was 1970. The United States economy was nowhere near as big as it is today. And with the oil embargo, things kind of slowed down, but they didn't stop. So let me go ahead and explain to you what happens. All right. So we have a, a supply of diesel on hand and the supply of diesel on hand is low. But here's the thing. That supply of diesel that we have is constantly being replenished. We will never, ever have a situation where we will completely slap, run out of diesel. We may have a shortages. We may have delays, but we will never, ever have a situation where we would completely run out of diesel and the world would stop. And I like if you don't if you remember this summer, this looming diesel shortage there was YouTubers putting it out and these, these YouTube videos got a lot of views, a lot of views. And it's just, it's information that is created to get YouTube views, in my opinion. This isn't like, one of the things I do is I study the economy and this is why I know that a gas, a diesel shortage where we completely shut down the United States, where planes stop flying, diesel trucks stop running, farmers stop working in their farms because we're completely out of diesel. For us to have that type of crisis, we would be in an apocalyptic state. It would be an apocalypse. That's how, that's how bad it would have to be for us to literally, I want you to think, walking dead scenario where cities are completely empty there's just a, a band of few humans here and there because for us to completely run out of diesel would first of all this is where it would start if we were going to have a true situation where we're going to completely run out of diesel oil production would have to stop not slow down, not be reduced, but oil production would have to stop. And then that's when we would have the true workings of a true diesel shortage. And as far as I know, OPEC hasn't stopped producing oil. All of the Exxon, uh, Shell, BP, they're still producing oil. 
So, you know, I didn't even check out the price of oil before I even did this video, but anyone telling you that we're gonna have this apocalyptic crisis, because that's what it would be. For us to slap run out of gas, to slap run out of diesel, I mean, I want you to think of your Daspopian science fiction movie where, you know, it's just really, I mean, that's that's what it's going to take. It's going to it's going to be much worse than a diesel shortage. It's going to be far, far worse than that. So once again, the diesel shortage is not going to, you know, everything's going to stop. No. It's not happening. It's not happening.